Hello everybody and welcome to a new session. Um, topic today is post-processing of open radios results using other tools. My name is Maya Ambula and let's get started. So again, as already shown uh, with the last video, how to review quickly the message files. Uh, we used also the VTK converter after the run was finished, as well as uh, the conversion from the T01 file the, uh, to the column separated values, which we can easily open in uh, other tools like Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice or whatever. So let's start reviewing the animation files, which are now the VTK files using Paraview. For this purpose, I starting Power view. Here we are. And what can be easily done is just open the within the radio file uh, radios folder the VTK group which was created using this native uh, VTK reader and displaying the results and here we are. So zooming in, you can change as well the appearance of the mesh by switching those edges and let it run and here is the animation of this beautiful bumper beam. VTK works in a different way uh, compared to Hyperworks tools so what we have here, so it works using filters. So for example, if I want to display the individual parts or checking the stresses, I can select the results already here from mesostress stress or plastic strain and 2D elements. So all the values are already here visible. I can also split the screen or adding first a filter which uh, will display the individual parts here. So I can also add a filter which is, for example, a threshold filter, apply it to part IDs and starting from part ID number two, apply. And now I see only my mesh and my, my structure without the rigid bodies and rigid walls. I can also split the screen and create here a line chart view. Here I read the CSV file containing the plots created by radios in the T01 file and convert to the CSV file. CSV reader, OK. Apply. And here we are. All plots are now displayed, which is much too much, so I will just see my internal and kinetic energy and this is what we also already saw in, uh, in hypergraph which is exactly the same value. Again be careful by uh, reviewing the forces here directly from the T01 file. So let's do it like this. If we review, for example, the rigid body X force, we see something like that, which is weird, which is strange, because it is not the force, it is the impulse. So now, for this purpose, I would like to open this comma-separated value file now with Excel. First of all, 
I think opening it with the text editor, selecting all, copy, and we'll open a new fresh exit spreadsheet and paste the entire results here using the import wizard, comma separated values and switching the separators. So now I have here all my results starting with the first column which is the time which is okay and the other results for example the rigid body forces are here this is the first rigid body beside of sections and so on so I create a new column because here if I plot the results here insert so this is exactly what we see in Parview as well, which is not the force. To obtain the force, I have to do here the first derivative, which is, I'm doing it manually now. Just this value minus that. Dividing by this delta time, which is this guy minus that one. Let the process to the end, and now applying this here, adding a new column. All my x values will be the time and my y value as my new calculated force, which is a derivative by time of the inputs. So let's switch off this one. And this is now the force which we also saw in Hypergraph last time. So, hope you enjoyed this session. And please let me a comment what else would you like to see. And then, bye-bye.